Oh, Keffels. So normally I don't, um, defamation is like really hard to prove in the United States for public figures. It's very, very, very difficult. I don't know what it's like in Canada though. It might be easier in Canada. Um, she continues to post lies about me on Twitter. They've tried to go after one of my sponsors. And arguably, I got banned from Twitch after she made false claims about me hate rating her. I kind of wonder if there's anything there. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to reach out to one or two law firms tonight. I'll shoot emails. If anybody thinks they could take the case, that'd be interesting. I wouldn't mind dumping like twenty or $30,000 into, um, into seeing if that like could have legs. Because it is insane that she can just lie and lie and lie and lie on Twitter. But like, just as a heads up for all you fucking morons, put it in the chat. I feel like there's like an 85% chance that the uh, guys are like, oh yeah, like this isn't strong enough for defamation or it wouldn't be worth it to pursue this in court or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I also, um, I thought about putting together a big thread and tweeting out GoFundMe for scamming because um, yeah, she's admitted multiple times to knowingly lying about me, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that given the last Keffel's logs, um, if that leak is real, I'm pretty sure that... Um, um, I'm pretty sure she knowingly like lied about her GoFundMe, which is supposed to be against their terms of service. A look into the fortress. Oh, how many comments? <clears throat> He's being a snide, vindictive, spiteful person that is coping about Kethel's positive press coverage. Do you think it might be the fact that she just like blatantly lies about me over and over and over and over and over again? Canada doesn't require you to prove damages? Oh, shit! Vouch is separate and coming through with the good legal advice. If you see, would you go balls to the wall and sue for lost revenue for a Twitch ban? Um, no, if anything, it would just be nice to have a public record that she lied about me. What what better way to have a public record than a court of law? <clears throat> we'll just read these out just so that people know. So here's like the context for this. Also, um, warning, transphobia, because um, uh, all, all, everyone on Kiwi Farm, well, I guess not everyone, but a lot of people on Kiwi Farms are transphobic as fuck. So all of this is gonna involve dead naming of Keffels and using the wrong pronouns, et cetera, et cetera, just so you know. But um, if you see hit, it's always in reference to Keffels because they like to dead name the fuck out of her. Trigger warning. I don't actually care about the trigger warning. I'm just <clears throat> letting you know that I don't support dead naming or transphobia. Something that is, uh, so here's the backstory on this. Okay, so if, you're, if you were not aware, Keffels posted some ominous tweets. I found out who the Kiwi Farms user was who doxed my mother and sent him a photo with his mother and addressed him by his name and he deleted his account. Unlike him, I'm not posting it online. But if he comes back, I know he, where he works and will forward his entire post history to his boss. Here are those DMs. So now, now, allegedly, it is possible this person went through a great deal of effort to fabricate these DMs. That is possible, and unlike the dishonest fucking losers on the other side of this debate, I will admit to you that it's possible, though highly unlikely. It is possible that these DMs could be entirely fabricated. But here are the DMs from that supposed dox, where Keffels supposedly doxed somebody, but I think they did a fail dox, meaning they doxed them, but it was wrong. Here are those DMs presented in their entirety. <clears throat> Keffels, first DM. Thank you for being my biggest fan. If you ever need someone to talk to, I'm always here for you, friend. Ayo, finally, I get to talk to the man himself. Hey, can you debate my friend A1 Steak Sauce on the NBA? You could reply any year now. I know you're on all day, Lameo. Also, congrats on hitting 800 pages. You don't care about drama, but DM me at 2 a.m. in Kanakistan time to try to flex on me. Um, and then I guess this is a tweet by her, Kevils that she'd made. And he's DMing her. Whoa, bad language. Okay, hold on. Please check optics, correct the transphobia. I'm reading these logs as is. I already warned you there's a lot of transphobia in here. I'm not gonna correct it every single time it comes up. Hold on, you're banned for a day. Okay, I've already said that. I gave you the warning, okay? <clears throat> okay. Kevils responds finally. Okay, you lost uh, open DM privileges by A logging too hard. You need to blah, blah, blah. I'm disappointed in you. At least make things interesting. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Kevils shoots him a picture. Oh, okay. So these were DMs from a while ago. Now this is on September 5th, a few days ago. Kevils shoots him a picture. Your mom is cute. Is that winter? This winter, I believe, has no relation to the winter posting on um, Kiwi Farms. They're unrelated. <laughs> are you serious or are you trolling? 
Cracker IQ, L laughing face. Your God complex has you making some dumb decisions. And then this is a link to Onion Farms. I don't know what the fuck this website is. Maybe a, an archive of Kiwi Farms? I don't know. You gotta respond now, bro, you're dumb as fuck. Well, I'm sure you're on all kinds of substances right now. Dog, you're legit trying to dox random ass bleh, 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 after spending months crying about it. Fan behavior, by the way. Nah, fatty, I see you tweeting. Quit trying to escape the embarrassment or get that block or get the block over with already. You know you want to. No one can dare embarrass. Uh, this is the dead name of Kevils. Or they'll throw a tantrum and bother everyone for attention. Crying face. Kevils. Okay, Andrew. Oh no, my nickname, the horror. You're a hypocrite, bro. Die mad. How so? Mumadox. I have your face and name. I know which schools you went to. I know every member of your family. Spooky. Is that why you sent some random ass kid? Excited to see how they all react when your information gets sent to them. <clears throat> You're weird as fuck, bro. You're a 30 year old white guy trying to scare some brown kid. <laughs> Glad you confirmed your identity. Thank you. Wow, I'm brown. You got me. You're laughing now, just like Josh did. We saw how that went. You're Josh's number one fan. You have the choice. Your life is now on a diverging path. You can walk away or you can see what comes next. Is that a threat, ninja? No, it's a promise. Too deep for me. Didn't you learn your lesson after getting sent to military school? You need to make better choices, kid. <laughs> yeah, I did. That shit was tough, man. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like you're shitting your life away. You are powerless in the real world. And the only thing that makes you feel like you're in control is a pseudonym you invented to harass people on an internet forum. Why not work on yourself? Become a better person. Yeah, you, uh, you got me, man. Anything else? I did. It's pretty obvious. Yep, you sure did. What else you have going for you? Tell me about your life, Andrew. I'm not nearly 30, and I haven't burnt every bridge I made. That's what. Limfeo. You lied about OTM Shank being transphobic when he helped you transition. That's sad, bro. <laughs> haven't burned every bridge. I make six figures a year in a media job. I was reported on media in 15 different countries this month. Congrats. Not everyone thrives off attention like you. I don't care about Colby. He's a loser who can't hold down a McDonald's job. He wasted his life on internet forums. OTM Shank is another Kiwi farmer, gotcha. I know it's hard to understand. Damn, bro, you're so spiteful and vindictive. Actually, really sad to see. Is it sad? What makes you not sad? You live for revenge. Tell me about you. What in your life makes you not a sad person? I'm not dumb enough to talk about myself, unlike your mods. Do you have a girlfriend? A career? Do you have any way of getting out of the situation you're in? You got Kiwi Farms taken down. Take the dick out your mouth, blood. Why'd your family send you to military school, Andrew? I was dealing drugs, bro. It was crazy. Who else are you trying to dox, by the way? They'd be very scared. I'm sure things were bad, but why do you think this path is going to make things better? Did you give up on your future? Who else are you trying to dox? Rules for thee, but not for me, am I right? Trust is earned, not given. Keep talking to me. You're not as smart as you think, bro. I ain't telling you anything personal. I know. The private investigator will get me more, though. That's how you spent the grift money? Damn, bro. Wait, did the PI tell you I went to military school? Not really interested in a trash-talking Sanchez. I want to help you. That's kind of racist, bro. You are a spiteful cracker, though, so not surprised. P.I. is still talking to family and school officials. I don't have all the information I need yet. That's crazy. I'm shaking. Por favor, gringo. Please no hurt me. I don't want you to shake. This isn't a threat or anything. You're so smug right now. I'm laughing my ass off. So did Josh. Look what good that did him. How do you take yourself this seriously? Honestly. The downfall of Kiwi Farms was not taking me seriously. I'm not Josh, bro. I don't really care. I know. You still have an out. You have a future. You are young. Are you grooming me? That's an obvious joke. Don't reply seriously. What's the weather like in Greenfield? Pretty tiny place. That's where my ISP is, pimp. 
Did your PI find out that? Uh, did your PI find out that I had to repeat 10th grade in military school? No, but that's interesting. It sucked, man. Sorry, you got sucked into that shit. Yeah, and now I've got some pretty fat white guy using a black light to search for my cum stains. It's crazy. Life takes you in strange places. Don't you have a therapist? Why are you talking to me, Lameo? You're a really interesting person. Really, I'm worried for you in a lot of ways. I think you're trying to get me to threaten you or something. Can't imagine being born in 2003 and growing up in the world like it is today. Things are fucked. It's 4.30 in Belfast, dog. Get some sleep. No wonder you look like shit. You already know I have insomnia. Why is that a surprise? I've been like this since I was a kid. That's also why I don't play Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Woe is you. Nah, not really. I don't feel bad for myself. That's a waste of time. Deep as fuck. Anything else? You always really seem to want to talk to me. What gives? I'm here. You seem nice enough. I am pretty nice. Thanks. I don't like self-centered pricks who think they're gods. You're high off your own farts. I don't think I'm a god. I'm no better than any other person. In fact, there are a lot of people I look up to and try to learn from. Is this blackmail, by the way? No, just wanted to talk. How's Vanessa, by the way? Is she doing well? What was the message you unsent? Sorry, I can't reply instantly to you. Why did your dad leave your mother? This is sounding like blackmail. What's the catch? Why'd your dad leave your mother? My parents loved each other very much. They were married for over 30 years before tragedy struck. Your transition was the tragedy. I think my transition is less tragic than coming from a broken home, getting sent to military school for drug dealing, and then becoming a Kiwi Farms user. This sounds classist. But you are entitled to your opinions. I'll never take that away from you. Sounds like you're saying you're better than me because you're white. All brown people have broken homes. What did you mean by this? What was your life like at home? When did Vic leave Vanessa? I know you went with your mom. You seem really close to her. Yeah, I love my mama. How much did you pay for this info, by the way? Did it come out of your GoFundMe money? Winter. I don't know how much money you think I make, but I was going to make six figures this year before the GoFundMe happened. That wasn't the question. Quit flexing on minorities, Whitey. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. You brought up money for some reason. Did you pay the PI out of the GoFundMe money? No, the GoFundMe money is currently in savings until I need to use it. Do you still see your family often? How's Matthias? Excuse me, but Vic is Victoria now. He slash she left me for the influencer life in Texas. Don't be bigoted. That's not Vic. It's Victoria. This is Vic. Oh my God. Hi, dad, dad. What's the problem? I'm saying hi to my dad. I haven't seen him in forever, bro. Rude. I don't understand why you react the way you do to things. This 10 layers of irony thing is weird. Just as a reminder, the reason why this winter person is saying bro and he and Lucas so much is because this guy is transphobic as fuck towards Keffels. I don't support or approve of that. Just reading the logs as is. I know that there's still going to be morons that quote me out of this saying that I'm being transphobic or I'm dead naming blah, 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 blah. Just reading this as they're presented. I don't support transphobia even against fucking losers like Keffels. Um, who the fuck even is Winter? Some random kiwi farmer that Keffels thinks she doxed, but she got the wrong dox and she's trying to threaten him. And then... Um, she thinks that he's the one that doxxed her parents, but he joined that thread apparently 50 pages into it, so. But I don't understand why you react the way you do to things. This 10 layers of irony thing is weird. You're on the internet too much. I'm just saying hi to my dad. There is no irony, predator. What do you do when you aren't on the internet? I climb mountains, like in Rocky IV. Still work at the skateboard shop? Fuck, how did you know? Oh my God. No. I'm asking, can you name the shop? <laughs> I doubt there's more than one in Greenfield. Then name it. Damn, you have a half brother too? Can you name the shop? Picture. Oh my God. Okay, so anyways, what's the name of the shop I work at? Why are you so eager to know? Can't you just tell me? Why can't you name it? You were so sure about it. Yeah, let me go ahead and dox myself to you real quick. You're really not too bright. I don't really think either of us are, but that's neither here nor there. Speak for yourself. So, the name? Why do you want to know? Why can't you name it? I'm just asking a question. I am too. You want to go ahead and say you can't name it? You're right. 
<laughs> I probably can't name it. You probably can't? Nah, say you can't. I'm dominating you now. My, I don't know if that's a racial s***, so I'm not going to say it. Fake farts, have you been drinking? Nah, I don't drink. Stop the cap! So you're smoking then? <clears throat> I'd be surprised given your history if you are sober, though. Please try to take care of yourself. Look at yourself, bro. You look like a sack of potatoes. Go refill the Addy. You aren't exactly a looker yourself, but you know, it's totally cool to make fun of my appearance if you want. Try to bully me all you want. My dick will stay attached. Chomo is, I don't know if that's a transphobic insult or not. <laughs> Send pics of me, harmless motherfucker. I'm not bullying you. I'm above that as a person. Why do you want me to send pics of you? Just like you're above embezzling money from the Communist Party? Send them. Do it. No balls, literally. Why? Oh, Chomo is child molester. It's kind of transphobic because they always assume that all trans people are child molesters, so I guess it kind of goes along with it. But... Do it, pussy. Do it. If you want, I guess. Go for it. Why, though, Lameo? Based on that one pic with a Snapchat filter on it, um, all you do is filter your webcam, 62 IQ ass ninja. I neither use filters nor webcam. Anyways, you're going to send those pics to me? Once you explain why you're so eager, or are you saving them to touch yourself with? Andrew, I don't get the point of any of this. Why are you acting like a retard? Sounds ableist. It is. I'm being ableist against you. You're the one who messaged me first to try to threaten me, dumbass. I didn't threaten you. You've wanted to talk for a while. Play coy, but you know what you're doing. Don't you realize your community will eat you alive for your microaggressions, bro? Kind of cringe. What the fuck is a microaggression? I don't know what kind of SJW bullshit you're on about. What's transphobic? I don't know what kind of SJW bullshit you're on about. I don't know. What is transphobic? Don't you realize your community will eat you alive for your bigotry, bro? Never seemed to happen. My community loves me. Why is that? You know a lot of them are disabled, right? There are some retards out there who shriek and moan about me, but they're irrelevant. Aren't you disabled too? Others got dropped by three different companies in a week. Limfeo, this ego, insane. I stated facts. Ego, where's the ego in that? You have a smug AGP smirk on your face, 100%. It's another transphobic insult. What is egotistical about the fact that Joshua Moon got dropped by three different companies in one week? That's something that is true. Anyways, got any more docs info on me? I am HSTS, not AGP. Get it right. <laughs> Rage pig moment. Man, your brain is so broken by this shit. Do you even know how to talk to women in real life? Do you? Yes. I've had many girlfriends, both cis and trans. Press X to doubt. Your deflection is pretty obvious, though. You can't answer because you know the answer. You DM'd me to get info out of me, and now I'm getting info out of you. Lots of laughers. Info about things I'm open about publicly? I don't hide like you do, because I have integrity and character. Oh, so they're public? So why do you cry when we post shit on Kiwi Farms? You post stuff on Kiwi Farms? I can't see Kiwi Farms on Google when I look it up. Nice job calling me a revenge by the way, your clean Clara vids were on your public many vids account. Big brain. Okay, Andrew. Okay, Sky. Okay, Shiloh. Okay, Kaylee. Lameo, you're so mad. Totally. Can you act like an adult, please, for once in your life? Can you? You're 30. Yes, I do every day. You are 30, my ninja. Then why are you still playing make believe? I'm sorry your parents don't love each other. Please don't take this out on me. I'm sorry your parents can't love each other. Well, they did and didn't send me to military school. That ninja Kangsley spinning like a 7-Eleven hot dog in his grave right now. You didn't even graduate, Lameo. You got me. Any more info you know about me? Send receipts, ninja. No, thank you. I appreciate it, though. But I'm not a farmer. I want to keep my receipts to myself. Receipts? So you have nothing, then? Sure. Is this like a sexual thing for you? Are you edging me? Honestly, I think I'm done until you want to act a bit more mature. My reaction to that, Kethel's face. You need to learn some strength of character, Andrew. You DM'd me, never forget. Never forget what? That you live with your mom in King City? You play Kirby in Animal Crossing. Grow up, Lameo, this cracker. 
You should get a job and a girlfriend, move out, start a life, instead of playing weird internet edgelord make-believe. Receipts. You weren't nice enough. You didn't earn my trust. I told you this from the beginning. Keep in mind that Keffels is like fucking, what, like 30 years old? <laughs> but, Jesus. <clears throat> you have no receipts and no balls. I have more balls than every single user on Kiwi Farms combined and chop mine off. People tried to take down that site for 10 years. I did it in a week. Is that why you cry publicly on stream? Yes, because crying publicly on stream means that I am a strong person who's not afraid to show emotion. Lameo, cope, copium, receipts cracker. You know the answer to that. I'll talk to you later when I hear back from the PI. Limafeo, pussy ass ninja, no receipts. Sure thing, Andrew Joseph Sanchez. Okay, Lucas John Roberts, any receipts though? Good night. Ugly ass, transphobic remark. You'll be up tweeting anyways. <clears throat> yes, and you'll be obsessing, monitoring my Twitter, which is objectively more sad. I'm going to go to sleep now. We can talk later, okay? I'm glad we were able to break the ice. You can assume that, but I know what you do with your time. You don't know about me. I doubt there's much to know, and every detail I learn will just be more sad. Not like you're going to college or have any future to speak of right now. Racism? Ayo. <laughs> Stuck in small-ass town with no options. Receipts? Doubt you have a girlfriend. I doubt Alex McIntosh, which I think is Kevl's fiance, has one too. He's stuck with you, not a girlfriend. Oh no, sick own. I'm going to marry a PhD candidate. How could my life get worse? Everything is about money to you. Sad as fuck. I guess that's how you are when you're privileged. Only sad because your mom probably takes care of you. You don't know the value of a dollar. This is coming from the guy who sits on the internet and cries for money, or plays games, or reads other people's articles. And making well above the average income of the average American is sad when you mooch off your family? <laughs> LOL, come on. Cucknadian money is worthless, copium. Your parents were well off, bro. You can't talk about not knowing the value of a dollar. Six figures in Canada is still above the average American income when converted. Is money your only go-to? You're very hollow. I know you didn't go to college, but this should be simple. You're a shell. Pathetic. Am I? From my viewpoint, your life is significantly more pathetic right now. You have nothing to your name that is worth having pride in. Didn't your dad not graduate high school until his 30s? How are you going to tell me about not graduating, Limfeo? Which is why he emphasized to his kids that we need to go to school. He was a great man. Aren't you another man's kid too? I think I saw that on Kathy's Facebook. Good job making your mom get rid of all of her memories on Facebook, Lameo. It's not my fault a stalker form decided to harass my family. It is Josh's, Josh's fault that I ruined his life, though. He deserved it. Josh's life was shit before you came along. Noel derangement syndrome. Yeah, and now it's barely worth living. He, like you, has nothing. Uh, yeah? He should only live if he makes six figures, huh? But you have an out and he doesn't. Greedy fuck. Yet you decide to keep fucking up your life and bringing shame to your entire family. Having out to what? Laughing at 30-year-olds who take themselves too seriously and want people to worship them? How are you even in a position to laugh at me when your life is so messed up? Tell me, what's something in your life that you're proud of, legitimately? Receipts? I can tell you're fishing for info. 62 IQ, head ass. Nothing. Got it. I figured as much. Receipts? Nothing. Got it. Oh, receipts. Are you going to talk about this in therapy? My six figures. Okay, anyway. I needed to go to bed. We have a really fragile ego. Decided you needed to keep this going. You DM'd me first. Trying to mock me for having successful life and career is so fucking funny. Your only accomplishment is making money. Oh no, I'm getting mocked by retards on a hate forum that just got deplatformed. Whatever shall I do? Do you hate brown people? Is this what this is? No, I just think your haircut is goofy as fuck. Pick? What is your accomplishment, exactly? This isn't my only accomplishment, but still, what exactly do you have going for you? How can you even begin to bust me down when you have nothing to show for being better than me? Who? You live with your mom in a little shitty town. You didn't go to college, dropped out of military school that you got sent to for dealing drugs. Asked, oh, no girlfriend, no job, no future. Like what? For future. 
Okay, keep spurging out. You sound like a KF user. True fan behavior. <clears throat> Your friend Tony Reed has a, fel has a felony drug conviction. Who the fuck is that? And Hunter Lyon has an arson conviction, and your ex had a conviction. What was that ninja's name? Kristen or something? And I have what conviction? And you sold drugs and got sent to military school. Do you believe everything everyone tells you on the internet? Only to go back to your broken home. Only broken because I'm brown and poor, huh? Crazy. Sounds like a stereotype. Deleted Lameo. Scared as fuck. Not really. What else can KF users really do? I faced you all down and won, and all you can do is say weird things to me. Apparently make you messages, uh, apparently make you message them and vent in their DMs. Anyway, good night, Andrew. You need help, but I'm not going to give up on you. Eventually you'll figure this out on your own, but you're a stupid kid still. You'll either grow out of this or end up like Josh, and we both know you don't want that. Um, do you know this person? Good night, Andrew. Did you write an article about them trying to run to fat bubble? And then <clears throat> I think for the rest of this, they right click the name and then now, um, you could theoretically build this all out in a web app and fake it, or theoretically the messages above could have been altered um, a lot. <laughs> if they like, it's not it's not impossible that this was faked, but pretty improbable, assuming that this is connected to all of Kethel's socials and everything. Um, so Kethel's tweeted out that um, Kethel's tweeted out that these logs were fake. Why would you believe things from a Kiwi Farms user? I don't know who Twink Bright is. They have me blocked. I'm assuming it's probably just a Kiwi Farms op. So her accusation is that they're all fake. However, the problem, the problem is that Keffels actually tweeted out a bit and then she deleted the tweets about having doxed somebody from Kiwi Farms and found out all their info. But once she realized that she had a fail dox, meaning her dox was incorrect, that guy that she was talking to, she had the wrong dox. Um, so she deleted all of the, um, she deleted everything. And, um, Yep, those are probably real. <laughs> Rip. The real question is, why go through the effort to fake all of it if she could disprove it with the real logs and she's not providing receipts to save to some of the leaks are real? Yeah, well, the, so the more interesting thing is, um, what lies has she told about you except for the real shit? Um, she fabricated my relationship with Kiwi Farms. She continually misrepresents my ki my community and Kiwi Farms being together. She continuously says that my that I sent people to Kiwi Farms to hate writers. She makes all sorts of false claims about me all the time. Um, oh yeah, this is what she tweeted earlier. There were two tweets, but this is one of them. I found out who the Kiwi Farms user was who doxed my mother and sent him a photo of him with his mother and addressed him by his name and he deleted his account. But he didn't delete his account. He just blocked her on Discord. But um, yeah. It's annoying because I'm pretty sure she knows these things are false. I don't actually think she's stupid. I think she's pretty sophisticated or pretty savvy when it comes to this. But um, I'm sorry, the transphobic stalker website you have a verified account on and love to frequent is dying. Um, like, she tries so hard to link me to this site. She said something else before where I have, um, oh, he calls himself a Kiwi Farmers in the bio. He talked about how much he loves the site on stream. I've never talked about how much I love Kiwi Farms. Every single content creator hates Kiwi Farms. Um, all of them, me included, because all, that, that site is horrible if you're a content creator. I never said I love Kiwi Farms. <laughs> also, when I called her out for saying that, she backtracked immediately and changed it to a different claim. But, um... Oh, yeah, and she said this, too. My tinfoil hat moment is that I believe that he had an agreement with Joshua Moon where he found new victims for the site in exchange for them not doxing and harassing his family. The funny thing is that even if this were true, this would mean that I was the victim being blackmailed, even if this was true, which it's not. I'm pretty sure she could prove the DMs were fake by opening streaming her message. Oh, yeah, but she's not going to. The messages are real, 100%. Um, I need to make hashtag drop Kiwi Farms move and aware of something, as I think there's possibly a danger to the reputation of good people who have opposed far right websites personas for years. Cavills is engaging in tactics much like those of Kiwi Farmers. She is optics poison. Um, Kethel's DM'd this person and said, I know you weren't involved when HN was dropped, but us talking to each other is optics poison. I want to work with you. I want this site down by any means necessary. That said, the ace up my sleeve is my press connections, and I cannot afford a blunder of this magnitude. The above is a message from her to me, but that's not why I'm posting this. She got into a slap fight with a Kiwi Farms user and called him a racial slur, Sanchez. She did that multiple times. An ableist slur, a retard, and more. She bragged to Burn Burn 8 about telling someone to kill themselves. There's a meme going around that Flamenco tried to cozy up and reach out and got told to fuck off, and everyone's laughing at Flamenco. I've seen it pop up in two places outside the Kiwi Farms, also have true based. Yeah, I told him to kill him laughing you absolute legend 
Oh, by the way, there's also that tweet that was floating out there that she deleted where she said that she hoped somebody else got swatted too. I don't know if anybody has a link to that, but that tweet is out there as well. Just saying. She's unpredictable and far too much desires to control the narrative because she is unironically fighting back by punching way below the belt. True. Fight the far right, don't become them. She and I are done. She was unbelievably rude to me. Yes, but now I see it's not just me, but also Naya and a ton of others. The person she is messaging is an asshole, yes, and still going mask off ableist races is unwarranted. Thank you for what you have done for the movement Kevils, but clearly you can't hold it in your spaghetti, and it keeps getting spread all over my suggested box slash timeline, so I think you ought to let Naya go as a woo and Liz the Grey take over, actual operators who are more than capable. Um, I don't think Kevils would ever do that, obviously. Kevils is basically like uh, Trump, right? Like, she's 100% in this for the ego. Um, but, yeah, interesting. They say Sanchez is a racist slur, but wasn't that just what she thought Winner's real name was? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, dude. That would be like me, like, doxing you and saying, like, oh, I figured out you're real. I know who you are, Ariana Ching Chong. No, that's not, no. She's using it as a racial slur. <laughs> Stop. I don't think she called the dude Sanchez to be racist. I think she actually believed that name was Andrew Joseph Sanchez. Check 29 for trash talking Sanchez. You would never say this if she's actually that fucking stupid to utter that phrase and not know the racial intent, then she should be removed from the internet and given to like a guardian for like permanent care. Fuck off. You would never be this charitable to anybody else ever. Shut the fuck up. You're so fucking wrong. You would never use this phrase to somebody. You're actually insane if you believe that. Let's be real. You would go this hard too if you had the carte blanche. No, I try not to. What are you talking about, dude? There are so many times. I think I've like, quote unquote, gone hard like twice in my life. One is when I accused Demon Mama of faking that thread on um on 4chan, which she might have. And there was, I think there was one other time with like Vosh where I joked about like taking a site down or I joked about there might be vulnerabilities on a site to see if anybody wanted to go fuck with him. Those are the two times that I've gone hard. Neither of those times were going hard. I wish that for one week. Where is the Tyrion? Where's the Tyrion speech? I wish I was the monster you thought I was. Bro, if we went hard for one week, these people there are some of these people that would be deleted from the fucking internet. It wouldn't even be fucking close, okay? It's so irritating when people accuse me of like hate raiding or going after people. You don't know what it looks like to go after someone. You have no fucking idea, okay? This area is like a, 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 vi a vacation to you, okay? I live here, all right? You don't know what it looks like to go hard. If you think that me like tweeting out one thing about somebody is going hard, it's not even close. It's so fucking stupid, dude. Oh, this was Keffel's, um yeah. Keffel's tried to say in relation to this, this was in 2021. She was trying to say that she hoped that somebody else gets swatted and then people found it. And I think she deleted the tweet. And But her excuse afterwards was, what did she say in response to that? She's like, oh, I thought getting swatted just meant that you call the cops to alert that somebody's up to no good. Like, <laughs> what's the best way to counter people like Keffel? She indirectly holds so much power in cycles like her, keep gaining social support and power to harass and bully everyone. It's insane. Um, I've thought about like, I don't want to be the I don't want to be the person at the head of this. As stupid as my fucking dumb fuck community is that thinks that I'm like going really hard on this, blah blah. I'm not going hard at all. If I really wanted to organize something on this, this is what I would I would suggest somebody doing if you want is put together like you need like two lists, okay? You need one lit or two documents. You need one document that has like a fully fleshed out thing of like this is every fucking stupid obvious dumb fucking lie that Kevils has told. That's number one. Number two is you need like a very short, very quick to read, like, oh, here's a lie, here's a lie, here's a lie, here's a lie, that can be like fired out to people that is like quickly accessible. These are two things. One is more comprehensive, the other is like easily digestible, okay? That's step one is compiling the information. Step two would be reaching out to all of the kind of like alternative journalists that would be interested in covering this. So it could be quasi mainstream people like um, Jesse Signal or other people that have written articles on CNN or other places that are a little bit critical of the hardcore trans narrative. The second group of journalists would be people like Tim Pool or Sargon Avocado or whatever, these types of people, the alternative media guys that would be really thirsty for a story like this, especially if you had all the pre-compiled information. That would be step two. Step three would be with the short doc would be blasting on Twitter, the journalists, and the editors and the and the publications that are the people that are pushing these stories a lot. Because there's only a couple journalists that have like super ridden Keffels that are pushing it really hard. And then step four would be to take the short doc and the long doc and to email that to like the editors in charge at some of the publications where these stories are getting published, especially if other people's names are being included. So like me sending an email saying, hey, I'm including this article, this is blah, blah, blah. That would be like, this would be like the comprehensive plan if you wanted to like launch a thing and go hard. I'm not doing all that shit because 
because I don't want to get that far. I don't want to be the fucking face of like the anti-trans fucking movement or some shit because I know that's what happened. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to go hard, that would be like the roughly like the four steps you'd probably go through to like try to actually lean into this and, and get some type of public pressure against her. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyone else think the Marvel, the MCU got really fucking horrible after Endgame? Anybody else? Oh, receipts. 